and I do understand, you know, she's going through a correction. She got to do what she got to do. But either way, I still respect her. I still love her. Could I have been a better man? Yes, I could have been a better man. But the only thing that I'm going to say to you guys that I said to this woman here is that, listen, please do not treat me as an outcast. Give me the opportunity so that we can come back together and we can work together and make something great about it. Hey, how you guys doing? Smoothly here. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I know I'm having a good day. It is another blessed day, man. It's another gorgeous day out here in the western part of the United States. But you know, I want to thank all you guys for coming back, watching my videos. I'm really just going to jump right into this here, man. I'm just going to talk about this. You know, sometimes, you know, we just have to talk about how we really feel. You know, just let people know how we really feel, man. You know, you got to let it out sometimes, man. It makes you feel better, you know. Hey, listen. I remember, you know, when I first met this lady here, I never thought that I could be ever hurt by this woman. Seriously, honestly, and truly. You know, I really appreciated this woman taking a chance on me. You know, I was just a broken down guy, man. Just a broken down guy. A lot of other women would really say to me, no, nah, I'm not really going to give you the chance because you don't really come in here with the type of things that I'm really looking for. You know, I'm looking for a lot more. But, you know, this woman says, no, you know, I'm going to open up my arms and I'm going to take you in because guess what? This is what I really do. I'm about giving people chances. I'm about giving people chances so they can do better. They can grow and be the type of man that I know I want them to really be, you know. I appreciated that opportunity. I truly do. You know, I know this woman was really big on her family, really cares about her family. You know, her family means everything to her. But you know, for a long time, many, many years, you know, she started neglecting her family. She started taking care of others before taking care of her family. And of course, you know, her family was getting very upset truly very upset. And I made her a promise. I saw an oath to make sure that I will protect her and protect her family within. And I did that. And in return, you know, she blessed me. She blessed me with opportunities, great opportunities. Could I have been a better man? Yes, I could have been a better man. But you know, Coming from where I came from, before meeting this woman here, if I didn't meet this woman, I don't know where my life would be. Honestly and seriously, I could be honest with you right now. I don't know where my life would be, ma'am. And I truly appreciated this woman for it. But then the other day, out of the blue, you know, she said to me, listen, I'm going to go in a different route. I really am. You know, for so long, I've been worrying about other people, taking care of other people, doing things for other people, but keep forgetting my immediate family within. And I just cannot do that no more because the family was getting very upset. They were very get, getting upset. So to send a message and say, hey, listen, we appreciated everything that you have done for everyone else, but now... We, your family members, we want you to start worrying about us. I got the message, man. I got the message. But you know, the only thing that I'm going to say to you guys that I said to this woman here is that, listen, please do not treat me as an outcast. Give me the opportunity so that we can come back together and we can work together and make something great about it. Because right now, I can't really see myself moving towards any other woman. Because the only other woman that I really love other than my birth, my birth mother, I can't see myself going towards no other woman. So don't sweep me under the rug. Don't act as if I wasn't really here. 
Don't treat me as such now that you change your mind and you want to go and take care of your family. I get it, I respect it, and I understand it. But I need that opportunity to know that we can get back together and continue to build what we've been building together. And I still promise you to keep my promise that I am going to respect your family. I know your family is very lucky. Your family is very blessed. I don't think they really know what they have in you. Sometimes I know your family take you for granted. They treat you like shit. But I never did. You know, I always stood up for you. Always stood up for you. Even though you weren't the first woman that I love. I stand tall. I talk positive about you. I let people know how much I really feel about you and how much I really care about you and the things that I would never say negatively about you. You know, a lot of times I tend to, you know, when I was younger, I wanted to stray the other way, but you pull me back and you straighten me up. You make me into the man that I am. And I truly appreciate you for that. But I get it. I understand it. I respect it. I know you need to go in another route. But I'm, ho I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you don't forget me. Please don't. Always love you. Always will love you. You're the best. And there is no other like you. And like I said, I just can't see myself wanting to go anywhere else other than being around you. You're the greatest, man. You're the greatest. America, there is no other like you. And I truly appreciate you for everything that you have done for me. Taking me from where I came from into your beautiful home. Treat me the way you treat it. You said to me, if you do everything right, follow the rules, you will be rewarded. And you were right. I took the opportunities that was given to me by you. Could I have done better? Yes, I could have done better. Did I mess up sometime financially many, many years? Yes, I did. I could have had so much more. But I appreciated you for everything that you've done for me. And like I say, please don't sweep me under the rug. Hopefully, you know, we can stay together. I needed to tell you that. But as always, you know what it is with me, man. I'm just sharing my thoughts about how I feel about this great nation here. And I do understand, you know, she's going through a correction. She got to do what she got to do. But either way, I still respect her. I still love her. And there is no other place that I really want to be other than here, man. Peace on out.